Hello everyone, welcome to Venkats Academy. Today in this video lesson of vectors, we are going to solve a problem. The problem, let me first have a look at the problem. The problem is described this way. It is given that there is a weight which has to be suspended from the midpoint of a rope. I have to suspend a weight which is at the midpoint of a rope. Connected between the two ends which are at the same level. So it is given something like initially there is a weight, there is a rope which is in the horizontal direction. This is the horizontal rope. Now on this I want to suspend a weight here. We want to suspend a weight. So it is obvious that whenever you suspend a weight this rope is no more going to remain horizontal. It will change its shape from its uh, existing shape to this shape so that weight will be coming down shifting down to this location this is what he is saying in the question the rope is no more horizontal absolutely we need to know what is the tension required to make this string again horizontal what shall be the tension in this rope so that I can make it again horizontal that's the problem let us draw a diagram once again to solve the problem so he is saying that there is a horizontal row it's no more horizontal it has changed its shape because you have suspended a weight as i have explained earlier here is the weight that you have suspended so whose mass is m therefore the weight will be mg this part of the string becomes tight having a tension t this part of the string also becomes tight having a tension t I want to know what shall be the angle so that the tension will be the maximum. So we need to know what is the tension required otherwise to keep this string back to the horizontal. It's very clear that this T is making some angle with the vertical that this angle is theta. Therefore the total angle will become to theta. This T can be now resolved into components as you know I have solved in the previous problem. This is nothing but equal to t cos theta. This is nothing but equal to t sin theta. Notice that both the components of the vectors are along the direction of the original vector itself. The same can be done with the other t also. This t also can be resolved into components. This will be another t cos theta. This will be another t sin theta. It's very clear that these two sin thetas are equal in magnitude, opposite direction, acting on the same point. Therefore, they will cancel each other. They have no impact. Similarly, for the body to be in equilibrium, the body is in equilibrium. For the body to be in equilibrium, the vertical upward force acting t cos theta and another t cos theta, 2 t cos theta must be equal to be mg. So I can write an equation, tension as mg divided by 2 cos theta. Now you want to make this string again horizontal. If we have to make this string again horizontal, it's very clear this total angle has to become 180 degree. That means this angle has to become 90 degree. This is the angle theta in our problem. That implies what I can say. To make the string horizontal. To make the string horizontal. The angle theta has to become 90 degree. Substitute that 90 degree in this case in the equation that we have. That implies T will become mg by 2 cos 90. But you know cos 90 is 0. So it is nothing but mg by 0. You know that anything by 0 is nothing but equal to infinity. That means to make it horizontal. We need infinite tension. But I cannot get an infinite tension, impossible to give infinite values. 
means what it simply tells you that uh, it's not possible to make this string horizontal so we can't make it horizontal we can't make it horizontal if you want to make it horizontal simply think that what i need to is remove the mass otherwise we cannot make it horizontal in any way thank you for watching we'll be continuing and keep solving problems in the coming uh, days and coming video lessons thank you i'll see you back again